What's up, folks? I'm Bilal. This is Starfield. Welcome back for episode 46. We're currently on Gagarin inside of a mine with Barrett. And the last part, we discovered what Hephaestus was up to in this mine. Um, they went to clear out some apex predators, but then ended up destroying the microbial life on that... Um, in the vicinity of the mine, which then led to... Um, you know, that will lead to major consequences all across the planet. So... Um, Irvin, Barrett's uh, partner, was working with uh, another scientist, and the scientist quit and everything. And I guess um, Hephaestus, being the corpo bullshitters that they are, would uh, bury all of this and not tell anybody that they, they have destroyed nature, the, the biome, and they just, yeah, they killed uh, Irvin, I guess. Stars. In any case, we're getting out of the mine. We're going to go back to the lawyer on Gagarin and report back with the evidence that uh, that Hephaestus definitely was up to no good. Is that going to be enough? I wonder. But it's a good start, I would say. So, yeah, uh, this quest line is quite nice as well. I, I really, like, uh, enjoyed the... Um, Sistef and Crimson Fleet questline so far. We'll return to that questline, of course. But I kind of have a soft spot for Barrett. Like, he's he's fun. He, his humor problems? is kind of like me. There's to options to flirt with him. I really don't want to. But, um, yeah, he's a good buddy to have around. And I, I kind of want to help him we out with his... About Earth and school. When I get my own ship, I'm going there. Well, Earth is nothing but a... Dust ball. Kelly. Hello. Welcome back, detectives. Hello. Kelly, I sent you all the data from the mine already. As I'm sure you know. She is smiling. Welcome back, you two. How was the trip to the mine? Yeah, we encountered some. You're gonna some, love this, Ellie. Some weird pests and their queen and everything, and we also learned that once the queen dies, one of the worker pests uh, eats her and becomes the queen, which is kind of like disgusting, but. Yeah, you can tell her Barrett because I don't really have a voice. Okay, in the game. someone better tell me. Come on. <laughs> we found the coordinates to Irvin's old work site and went there. Huge battle, fire, explosions. Pew, 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 pew. Barrett, please. You should have seen the plants in there too. Weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you read over the documents we found there, right? What do you think? What you both found in that mine is remarkable. Yes. These documents show that the chemicals released by the mining process contaminated the ecology even before Irvin was tasked with removing the predators. Oh, even before. And they also show that Helgi informed Hephaestus of the issue and it was repeatedly ignored. 180 and times. With that, I think we've got ourselves a case, my friends. That's awesome. Yes. That's what I wanted to hear, Ellie. Woo! Yes, but it's still likely to lose. Because what we really need now is Helgi as our witness, and that is a problem. Yeah, I thought so. Like, Helgi might be dead, or... Like, yeah, but he would be the witness you would need in this case, huh? Helgi isn't an ideal witness at all. Mm -hmm. He was our star witness the first time, and he never oh, showed Oh, he's the one up. who didn't show up. Plus, he's got a reputation around town. After he quit, he went a bit weird. Mm -hmm. well, I can handle a bit weird. I know the captain can too. Clearly. But the judge might feel differently. It might be worth finding some character witnesses too while you're looking for him. Mm -hmm. Find a potential character witness and bring evidence to Ellie. Okay. Um, that's understandable. I'm glad you're taking it in stride. Mm -hmm. It's just... For a case with this much science, we need the man who wrote the claims to back them up. Mm. Maybe even explain it in layman's terms. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we should go to court without Helgi. Uh, where can we find him? That's also a bit tricky. He's hard to find. Mm. Doesn't really stay in one place for long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll look around. You might ask Dr. Keala. She mm -hmm. checks up on folks who fall through the cracks sometimes. Mm -hmm. You'd have to convince her to tell you where he is. All right. That might be hard. Sounds like we're making a stop at the med clinic. Mm -hmm. We'll be back when we convince Helgi to be a witness. Listen, if he refuses, then he refuses. Can't force him. 
Yeah, we don't want to press him too hard. The last thing we need is him refuting what he wrote. Mm -hmm. This is going to take a light touch, but I think we can handle it. Awesome. So, in one story, we're undercover agent. We're an undercover agent. And in another, we're detectives trying to make this case come back to life. Hey, it's day again. This planet's rotational speed must be high. Not supposed to stay out after dark, but it's too hot to play during the day. Aw. There's Terra Brew down there. Okay, Dr. Keala. I do not want my cutter to be out when I have my scanner out. What the hell? No? Okay. Um, alright, let's get down here. No, it's down here. Dr. Keala. I know a guy who just got a job at the Centauri Mills plant. Won't say what they pay, but his outfits sure have gotten nicer. Okay, Centauri Mills. Do you need medical assistance? Are you injured? Uh, no. Is there something I can help you two with? Do you happen to know Dr. Helgi Hawkson? We're trying to get his help with something. Sorry, who are you exactly? We're detectives. Self-taught and unaffiliated. Freelance detectives. With the emphasis on the free part. Hmm. Wait, what? Detectives? Uh, sorry, I don't think I know what you're talking about. You treat a lot of mine I workers? treat anyone who walks in my doors, if I'm able to. Good doctor. Um, what well, does the name Irvin Madani sound familiar? Uh, no, not really. I mean, there's Irvin the Slaughterer and Irvin the Scourge of Gagarin, but I doubt that's the same person, right? Okay, lore about Irvin? Was he like, huh? What was Irvin like? Probably not the same Irvin. I'm sorry, I'm not a tour guide. You'll have to ask somebody else. We're trying to help him. And Gagarin, actually. Mm, we're working with Ellie Ankton. Ellie's a good person. That bodes well, but I can't violate my oaths. I'm sorry. Persuasion. Listen, I can say that Helgi took up a job working at Clint's store just down the way. Okay. I saw him there stacking boxes the last time I picked up an order. Mm -hmm. I've got to get back to my work here, so if there's nothing else. Sure. Um, would you vouch for Helgi's character? If it's patient medical records you're after, I'll remind you. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Yeah, but if it's in court? We just want you to say nice things about him under oath. Only as it pertains to his career and set trials. At trial. We're thinking of taking Hephaestus to court with Dr. Hawkson as a witness. Now, given his situation, we're worried the defense might um, cast aspersions on his character, mm. even question his mental health. That's unfortunate, but not surprising. <sighs> Look, if he agrees to testify and grants me permission, I could vouch for his well being. Great. Thanks, Doc. If he does end up testifying, we'll definitely need you for the trial. Ellie Yankton will be in touch. Yep. No promises given patient confidentiality, but I'll do my best. And that's our character witness. Great. Oh, this is, oh, I can change my traits around over here. That's awesome. That's good to know. I'll come to back to back that to at some point. Now, if you don't mind. Um, I might change out alien DNA. Because uh, that reduces the amount of uh, healing that food does on me. But, yeah. That's Clint. Yeah. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except You've got Nick enough. Potts. Don't trade those anymore. So don't okay. waste your time asking. You're Kiwi or Australian sounding? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, what's wrong with selling well, mech parts? for one, it's illegal in UC space. Mm. Making mech platforms used to be Gagarin's bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So, since they were banned in the armistice, I get one to two folks a month asking what kind of relics I might have lying around. But I'm not about to risk a contraband fine at my age, so that's why I just lay it out up front. All right. Um, nice to meet you. I'm just going to look around. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. <laughs> You'll find me eventually. Yeah, you're nice. What can you tell me about Gagarin? Gagarin. 
It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Mm -hmm. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. Mm. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted a Gagarin. Mm -hmm. And that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, you've got these new firms coming in. Arkmight, Centauri Mills, claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refused to step foot in most of it. Mm, Centauri Mills, that was what made the other guy rich or something. Um, so me what you got for sale. Let me just bring that up. All right, do you buy contraband, sir? I don't think you do, do you? No. Seem like a upstanding citizen. Okie dokie, what do you have for sale, though? What's the most expensive shit you have for sale? A marathon? 58? Nah. Um, damage? Ooh, that looks like a 9mm pistol, almost. Alrighty. Um, let's get back here. We're not supposed to leave the canyon. Too dangerous. Oh, you kid, are you following me? <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're gonna look around. No, we have to talk to him, right? Yeah. Let's go ask him about help. Don't mind the mess. I've got a system. Yeah, yeah. Funny you ask, because I'd like to know too. He owes me a sizable debt. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try and persuade you, but when did you see him last? I've seen him around, but never in one place, except when he needs money. Mm -hmm. I offered him a job, but he showed up to work drunk one day and I had to let him go. Okay. I don't have any ill will toward him. Sure, the credits I'd like to have back, but only because it'll mean he's gotten his life together. Oh, you're kind. How much does he owe you? Enough that he's no longer allowed in my store. I don't like denying service to anyone. But it's the principle of the matter. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try to persuade him. Uh, I don't want to be mixed up with anything like that. Mm -hmm. I just need information. I wish I could, but if anybody found out, I'd told you. Oh, I can auto persuade him, so that's a relief. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Let's do that. He's got what? Uh, he's got six of them. I'm gonna try this. Come yeah, on. it worked. I'm trying to help you. Great. I know there's a way to get past this. That's what I'm hoping. Awesome. All right. Fine, fine. I don't know where he is, but ask Lizzie up at the bar. Oh, we go she to Lizzie. Everybody. All right. Cool. You're welcome. So long as we're open. Cool, we got some lore about Gagarin. They were a mech factory for the war, and now they're just like, other corporations are doing mining businesses or God knows what, and it's kind of being deteriorated. Uh, I mean, not that a military colony is a thriving the place, but... Shut down the other hey, Liz. Lizzie Ahello, a yellow. Looking for a drink? Don't serve anything fancy, so if you're about to ask for wine spritz or whatever, mm -hmm. you can hop right back on your ship to New Atlantis. Um, I love a wine ship, so I'm leaving. Got something against New Atlantis? Not as a rule, no. Just the ones that come to Gagarin and want to change it. Mm. And those folks usually ask for disgusting, overly complicated drinks. You one of them? No. I'm just looking well, around. Then make yourself comfortable. And don't start anything, alright? Sure, sure. Um I'm looking for Helgi. Ah, yes. Uh, the detectives. I heard about you. Our reputation proceeds. Our reputation us. already? <laughs> I'm impressed. Hmm? Slow news day, I guess. Mm hmm Um can you help us find somebody? There are very few secrets here in Gagarin, my friend. Mm -hmm. Just makes the ones that exist much more expensive. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, help I us locate him. I serve drinks here, friend. Uh, we were told that you are a local crime. We serve drinks here. Here's a list of our specials for today. Um. 
there's nothing on here. Oh, that's strange. Here, let me fix that. Don't worry, it's just the one sale today. Oh, right. Of course, it's a number. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Captain. All yours. All right, we need a location, nothing fancy, just a drink for me. And do you have any work we could do? I don't want to get into side questing at this point, so persuade her. The service I provide is worth quite a lot. I can imagine. You've got, what, eight? Damn. Who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer? I still have the auto persuade, so let's go don't for it. Think yes. I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Yeah. The pr that price is too high, and you know it. Hold yes. On. I never said that was my final offer. Great, and now we just need one. I can't afford that. Too bad. Or, yeah. You know what? Nice. I like you. Maybe we can work something out. All right, all right. Consider it a favor. Mm -hmm. Sending the coordinates now. Would you vouch for Helgi's character? Wait. So let me get this straight. Mm? You want the bartender <laughs> to testify he's not a lousy drunk? <laughs> uh, on second thought, it is a bad Don't idea. Don't have to tell me. All right, we've I got the witness, the character witness. Anytime. And we've got a good character witness, not his uh, employee up, who right. fired him. Employer who fired him. And neither a bartender. We've got a doctor. Um, all right. Let's head on to the coordinates then. And downstairs. Through here. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Hello, Helgi. Can I take a look at your face? Wow. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? I could take Sorry, you with Doctor. me. Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Mandani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Um... We want to discuss something you Then work find on. the history slate. An ancient history slate. Because that's what it is. Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. Mm -hmm. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No, I don't remember lies. We've uncovered new evidence. Aaron was Barrett's husband. He won't care about that. Uh, that will make a difference. It's been 20 years. Mm. 20. Get out of here. Look, I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. This is about a better future for Gagar, and we need your expertise to prove it wasn't Irvin's fault. We know about Hephaestus and how you tried to warn them about the collapse of the ecosystem. Yeah, this would be this would ring a bell. But he'd be afraid of Hephaestus, won't be? Won't he? Because he already didn't show up last time. Barrett's right. We're the only ones who can set the record straight. We need your expertise to prove it wasn't his Sounds fault. Sounds to me like you need a scientist, and mm. instead you got a drunk. And I reject that hypothesis. Once a scientist, always a scientist. I can agree. And in court, you're an expert witness who can testify. Testify? The trial is over. The verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. Um, why are you so reluctant? Because I tried before, and they threatened me. 20 years ago. I still wake up in fear almost every night. Mm. They said if I ever left Gagarin, they... They... Oh, man. I left my wife to protect her. 
She didn't deserve any of this. Any of my mess. You didn't make a mess, dude. You were just doing your job. You warned them. Those guys are fucking assholes. So, what do you remember? I remember not to talk with people who come asking questions about powerful corporations. Mm, come on, dude. Ellie Yankton has opened the case. Ellie? Ellie Yankton? But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. Ooh, boy. Evidence. We got new evidence. All we need for you is to testify that it's valid. And this will be a heavy persuasion thing. I hope I we can can't. get through it. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? What is going to motivate him? You were a whistleblower once. Clearly, you know what the right thing is. He's got what? Eight again. I've got an auto persuade, so we can use it if we don't have success. So eight would be five and three. Let's try it. What's no. right has got nothing to do with it. Okay. You'd be letting Hephaestus get away. I mean, he is. He shouldn't. He wouldn't be happy with Hephaestus, would he? Damn right it does. I just didn't think there was a way to challenge them. Yep. Now there is. But now we have to auto persuade you, so let's do that. I he was a good man. I didn't know him long, but I knew that much. All right. And scientifically, you have a duty to report this so we can understand how these ecosystems work. This is do or die. I yeah, hate to baby. Admit it, but you're right. The longer this stays hidden, the more ecosystems get jeopardized. Exactly. <sighs> Fine, you've convinced me. I'd be willing to testify on one condition. Mm -hmm. I want to know what happened to Irvin. Because when he disappeared, let's just say I had an epiphany. Dr. Oh. Hawkson, it wasn't Hephaestus that took Irvin's life. It was the war. Irvin was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caught in the crossfire. Then I am sorry for your loss. It won't change the past for either of us. But I will testify. Mm -hmm. And maybe, wherever Irvin is, you'll be glad that we can finally stick it to those assholes at Hephaestus. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. <laughs> <sighs> I need a drink. <laughs> that is awesome. We've got the witness. Uh, I accidentally hit right click uh, during that dialogue. It skipped a line. Sorry about that. But essentially, yeah, Urban was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. He got caught in the crossfire of all this. Let's get back to Ellie. Helgi agreeing to testify is a great help. We might need witnesses to vouch for his character, though. Someone in security, maybe? We have a witness, uh, Barrett, already. Okay, you two. Lay it on me. Did you find Helgi? Yep. Did he agree to testify? And well, yep. we've got good news and... Well, that's it. Just more good news. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that mean he said yes? Um, yeah, he will well, testify. that is perfect. She's probably the best person to call on should have faced us decide to play dirty. Yep. Well, you two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? The evidence you've gathered is impressive. It truly is. So what's the verdict? In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. Mm -hmm. I almost never say this because I don't want to jinx it, but I think this case is a slam dunk. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. But That's what I like to hear. Yeah. I think we can do everything on our checklist. Clear Irvin of any wrongdoing, charge Hephaestus with the cover-up, and even restore Helgi, uh, Dr. Hawkson's standing in the scientific community. All in all, though, really outstanding work. That's awesome. We wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. Thank you. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, 
he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. We that is awesome. We should probably get out of Ellie's way and let her do her thing. Yeah, let's get out of here and then we talk, my friend. Fine. Oh, that's such a feel-good thing there, right? Uh, like... This was a wild goose chase. I'm happy I had that auto persuade and I saved it till the end because we had to convince like three people, like the doctor, the bartender, no, four people, doctor, shopkeeper, bartender, and then Helgi himself. Wow, we actually did it. Solved the case and hopefully cleared Irvin's name. Yeah. I feel like, what's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders, mm. but it's actually true. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel. <laughs> we could weigh you to confirm. It must be a relief to get to this point. I'm happy for you, Barrett. Technically, the trial hasn't begun yet. What's an aerogel? I know what the aerogel is. It's one of the lightest, least dense materials that we have. Um, it's an artificially generated material. It's, it's very, 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 very light. But it has uses. Anyway, uh, the, technically the trial You're hasn't right. begun. But I'm confident Ellie's correct about the outcome. No, I wouldn't be if too confident. If nothing else, the court of public opinion is going to side with Irvin. If we lose, we can always leak the docs to SSNN. That's true. That's true. When do you think we'll get a Ellie would know better than I. But I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Mm. These things tend to involve a lot of red tape. That hasn't it's changed. A special kind of adhesive that makes you stick to old filing cabinets and mm -hmm. manila envelopes. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're feeling better and lighter. Do you think things will change on Gogar? I hope so. It's always a tug of war between the workers and the mining corps. Mm. But there's one thing we've got in our favor. There's more of us than there are of them. That's true. All it takes is for the people to realize it. That's true. I'm glad you're feeling better, I'm man. I'm feeling great. Although I could do with some wine and cheese. Mm -hmm. Why stop at emotional satisfaction when we can indulge in the culinary too? Some other but time, But if I bro. can be serious for a moment, thank you. You're welcome. I couldn't have done this without your help. Uh, anything for a friend? That makes two of us. Three if you count Harvey. And who wouldn't? He's practically family. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him, too. According to this slate I found, turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Harvey has a preference on where to go next, where we go next. Now this is behind you, let's get back to business. I wonder if Harvey has a home planet we can visit. Wait, who was Harvey again? Yeah, that is exactly what I was wondering. The plant? From Irvin's apartment? Just look at the slate. It'll explain. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't do that. Um, yeah. You know what? He just might. But it's probably best you chart the course. Mm -hmm. Harvey doesn't do well with things that require hands. Mm -hmm. um, whatever's next, I'm glad I have you with me. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. Yes, Barrett. We've been On top of everything lot. else we've done together and with Constellation? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Investigating Irvin's case with you is something uh, I'll remember forever. That's I've awesome. come to realize that some events, uh, some people, stand out as pillars of my life. Hmm. I'm not sure where this when is When I packed my lunch the other day, I thought of my grandmother doing the same for me as a child. Mm -hmm. She knew I appreciated even if I didn't know how to say so yet. I hope she knew anyway. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel, mm -hmm. to be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. That's true. Living life to the fullest is a gift. Wow, we're getting philosophical right now. I like it. And the definition of that changes for everybody. Yep. If one is fortunate, 
You might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. Mm -hmm. I must be fortunate. Constellation has certainly changed who I am. <laughs> you seem so skeptical of Constellation when we first started working together. It's good to hear you say that now. I've explored many worlds, and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories. But you have changed me as a person forever. I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. I need to know what you think about us. We we're friends. I will value our friendship forever. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm glad you now, agree, bro. Mind if we get back to exploring this beautiful, mysterious universe with me, Detective? Finishing breach of contract has made Barrett dismissible. Barrett considers you an ally. That is awesome. But I want to take a look at that uh, note that we found, apparently. About the, um, about Harvey. Yeah, so this one. The on a rescue mission. An asteroid was slated to hit a moon in one of the outer systems, and I wanted to get some genetic samples before they went extinct. Well, I managed to get one. This suspiciously cactus-looking thing here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was, only that it was beautiful. It's not until I scanned it back home that I realized it wasn't native to the system. The flora was alien. Okay. Somehow, a seed had stowed away on someone's shit and managed to plant itself on this unremarkable moon like a rogue dandelion clock dancing through space. And I thought, well, isn't that a kindred spirit? This whimsical little cactus is an explorer just like us. Hmm. Someone me, painted some choice what words we do in Constellation you. is always bittersweet. When we explore new worlds, we leave our homes behind. In a way, that's hey, what this what plant represents. It's a hello and a goodbye. Yeah. So, I'm giving this plant to you, Barrett, in hopes that you never lose your sense of adventure and the places you call home. Oh. Let it be a celebration of every long goodbye and each new beginning. Lovely. Man, Irvin. Hello. Damn, this the, the past like what five ten minutes have been really philosophical, emotional. I'm glad I could sort out the. I believe this little tin can protects us from certain death constantly, without fail. So far, anyway. Um, I was saying like uh, I think it's set in stone now that Barrett won't. I won't get like flirt options with Barrett. Pretty happy about that. All right, so what do we have now? I kind of want to see where I should sell the contraband. I mean, I can sell it on the key, actually. Let's head on out to the key and talk to Neva, shall we? We'll have to go through Sagan. Um, right? Ooh, Nic Nicola, nice. Where's Sir Sagan? What the hell? Sagan, yeah. Let's set course. Yeah, so. Ooh, that was fast. Um, Let's head on out to Crix, because don't have enough uh, grab drive capacity to do that jump in one go. Not right now, anyway. When you're in space, you get this whole cutscene and shit. And if you're on the ground, then you just fast travel. Feedback checks out. We're in the right place. Yeah, we're, hey, we Dad. are. Want to hear a poem I wrote? Back at it's the. It's called key. a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? That sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called space. Sounds good. <laughs> Air pressure good. Space is cold and, we're docked. and dark. Starships fly there like comets, oh. carrying us home. Not bad. Hey, write it down so I can carry a copy. Separation. Of I'll copy down too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the comet-eating bunny. 
All right, I wanted to listen to the haiku, uh, haiku and uh, ended up undocking. Sorry about that. Let's dock and let's right. board. Let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Man, so I think Barrett's quest line is now done. I want, might want to see if there's a Harvey thing going on, or was that just like jokes? I'll check the quest log later, but I would want to pick up either Sam. What do we, who do we have? Sam, Andresia, um, Lynn. Ah, uh, Lynn, not really. But Sam, Andresia, and who the hell is in my crew, man? What the fuck? Oh, I kind of want to see who I, who I want to go around with. Heller? Yeah, why not? Sam, Sarah, Barrett, Andresia, Heller, Lynn, and Vasco. Okay. Maybe Sarah. I don't know. Alright, there you are. Can I climb through? No, I can't. I'll have to go around. Let's talk to Neva. Right, what do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed hmm fantastic so how do we disclose it we could lean on your smuggling contact call in that favor you know who i mean our friend on jimson nice one jazz i'll make the arrangements we're headed to new atlantis or to jimson at least all right rook next stop new atlantis damn your connection is juan dayu She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. One die you. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Okay. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Sounds dangerous. Hmm. Sounds like a situation that calls for a fist bump. <laughs> Unless she wants my knuckles too. All right. Premium smuggling routes? Definitely. We're talking. Cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like an SY920's case, military outposts. Hmm. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. Wow, should I expect any You're trouble? You're in the fleet. You should always expect well. trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Mm -hmm. Sounds like she'll be useful. I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan mm. gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Yep. If it's a prototype, we don't know. Any clue what the device looks Unfortunately, like? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, it's a prototype, so it could look like anything. Mm. Once you're inside SY920 and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. Mm -hmm. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, okay. and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. Mm -hmm. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. I don't plan to do that. But how will she get me inside the station? She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Uh -huh. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. All right, understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Because I don't think she cares okay. if I shoot my way through so, the place. I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. Great. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. <laughs> Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, 
Get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. All right. If she asks, what do we need it for? I'm going to leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is going to make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's going to be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. Mm -hmm. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Great. What can you tell me about The one? Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. Mm -hmm. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space. And her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. Mm -hmm. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. Great. We'll talk later. Yes, we shall. So the next stop is back to New Atlantis, which would mean we're going to have to uh, go through that scanner yeah, again. Might want to leave like something right here. over here in some random container. My, uh, I mean, my contraband. But I don't know. Maybe we'll figure that out in a bit. But I'm looking at the time, uh, like the actual time of the day right now. And unfortunately, I'll, I'm going to have to end this episode right here because I have some other commitments to um, tend to. Uh, anyway, this was fun. Uh, Barrett is definitely an ally. Barrett is definitely a friend, not a flirt flirtation angle anymore. And we help solve uh, or restart a case. I wonder when we'll hear back from the case, probably by the end of the game or something. But that's been me for this episode of Starfield. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I will catch you in the next episode. See ya.